This is a journey into sound. Merry Christmas everyone, Craig Stewart and Johnny Montana here coming up to hours of serious underground dance music. We're in the mix together on the decks here in the first hour. This is Soul Horizon for December 2014, now broadcasting on 122 radio stations around the world. It's taken 12 years of very hard work on this radio show, but we've stuck with it. We've got lots of fans all over the place. Thank you very much for tuning in. In the second hour, I'll be on my own. Craig Stewart here. I'll be on my own on the decks for my After Dark Mix sessions featuring the deeper side to house music. My special guest is the brilliant Kink and uh, I'll be talking to him on the telephone. In this hour, the first hour, you'll hear the big tune from Soulful Session and Chelsea Como. Our very special guest is US, uh, USA hitman DJ Spinner. We'll be uh, talking to him on the telephone live from New York City. And one from the vault is from 1990. If you remember this, it's by Intense, a beautiful song called Let the Rain Come Down. Okay, first up in the background here, forthcoming only on vinyl, is Balfonic. Better known to you and I as Moody Mank. Uh, something a bit different here, completely brilliant. This guy is a very, very talented drummer. He's a top producer and a top DJ. Um, all the drum hits and the percussion sounds you hear in this track are all played by himself. This is on his own label, Well Cut Records. So uh, turn this up. Hope you like it. For the full track listing of this show, go to the radio station's website that you're listening to right now, or you can hit us up on Facebook, SoundCloud, and Twitter. Here we go. Hey, this is Curtis McLean, Mr. Gotta Have House, and you're checking out my guys, Montana and Stewart. Move your body.
Absolutely gorgeous, this. Uh, it's a complete uh, team from Russia. Uh, the imprint is uh, Crumpled Music. Just started to send us some uh, promotional material. Very nice, this. Right up our alley. Very 80s funk and boogie. It's uh, Losk and Oledge. The track's called uh, Brush Stroke. Beautiful. Okay, next up, the man myself, Louis Vega, featuring Divinity, Everlasting Love. And it's uh, Louis Vega on remix duties on the mighty Vega Records. John Mike Montana in the mix. And you're in the mix with my boys Johnny Montana and Craig Stewart.
beautiful song sung there by our very good friend divinity who we've worked with many times what a beautiful voice when she sings she puts a smile on our face now i know she listens to the show divinity we love you baby okay next up a cool million then we've got the big tune from soulful session we are in the mix
Oh yes, Cool Million, uh, the guys from Holland, and the superb uh, sound those guys have got. Very 80s funk and soul on their uh, imprint said soul. We've worked for those guys a few times, Johnny and I. Uh, on vocals, of course, the unmistakable voice of Baltimore's Mark Evans, ripping it up as usual. Track's called Don't You Wanna Dance, and it's our friend Ricky Inch from Estonia on uh, Remix Duties. We think he's one of the most underrated producers in the world, and I personally class him as a top 10, maybe even top 8 producer in the world at Soulful House. His sound is terrific. Go on, bye. Okay, next up, Soulful Session featuring Chelsea Como. Back and forth, the track's called, and it's myself and my buddy Dale Nortia on remix duties on the mighty Tony Records. Hi, this is DJ Meme from Brazil, and you are checking out Johnny Montana and Craig Stewart in the mix.
this is Grant Nelson from Somewhere in Your Record Collection, and you are in the mix with my boys, Montana and Stuart. Absolutely stunning dance music, I'm sure you'll agree. This is Soul Drifter. Kids from, uh, well, originally from Russia, now based in North America. Stunning here, featuring Ryan Holiday on vocals. Tracks called Turn Away on Richard Earnshaw's mighty duff note. Stunning dance music. Okay, up next, Anthony Fennell. And then uh, we'll be calling DJ Spinner in New York City. Hope he's in. We need to interview that dude. We're in the mix.
Okay, so just going to call that DJ Spinner. Let's have a chat with him. About your friendship with Stevie Wonder, we've all seen. Well what, a thr- well, what a thrill to have you on the show, Spinner. Um, I have to kick off with asking you about your friendship with Stevie Wonder. We've all seen the videos on YouTube, and no doubt there'll be people listening to this show who've attended those events. But please tell us all about it. It all started around 1999 with a small little tribute party in New York for Stevie's songs in the Key of Life album. You know, no more than 100, 150 people turned out for that. And then for 2001, we decided to... Uh, have a full-on DV Wonder tribute night, not just for the album, but really honoring his legacy. The party's called Wonderful, started off in New York. It's it's become a global sensation. Tra- I've traveled with it. It started off with me and Bobito um, for the first six, six years, seven years, and then he moved on, and now it's just me, and we've done it all over the place. First time I ever spoke to him was 2001, and then fast forward a few years later, he shows up in New York towards the end of the party and shocked everyone. <laughs> so... You know, it's led to a couple of remixes and a few performance collaborations with me and him on stage with the band and stuff. So, yeah, it's it's a blessing. It's been a journey. Okay, so tell us about your musical background. I mean, when you were coming up from Brooklyn, I mean, I'm assuming things here, maybe I shouldn't do, but probably hip-hop played an important part. Tell us about it. Well, yeah, hip-hop played a, definitely played an important part, but my early days, adolescence, my, my childhood, I really started getting into music early at the age of two, three years old. Instead of toys and normal things that kids that age would get, I always wanted record players and vinyl and records. And my dad was a serious music lover. He, he wasn't a musician or a producer or anything, but he loved music across the board. So we, I grew up listening to everything from soul, obviously, and to Latin because my family is from uh, Central America, from Panama, and um, also have Caribbean descent in my bloodline from Jamaica. So a lot of reggae, a lot of soca, calypso, even Haitian music. You know, growing up in Brooklyn was a melting pot of many different cultures, especially Caribbean culture. So, you know, once the 70s, mid-70s hit and the birth of disco, I got a great, a big taste of that with early 12 inches that were coming out in the market. You know, South Soul stuff, Patrick Adams stuff, DT Express and Fat Back Bad and the likes. As we move forward into the late 70s, um, when disco kind of transgressed into early hip-hop, then that was just a natural progression. You know, Rapper's Delight and you know, Sugar Hill Gang and stuff like that, stuff on Enjoy Records. At that point, you know, I started learning how to DJ and hip-hop was sort of like a youthful culture. Couldn't really avoid it just going outside from the way people dressed to the way people talk. You know, everyone was either aspiring to be, like young teens, aspiring to be either a TV writer or rapping or DJing or all of the elements that hip-hop is made of. It was just in the air. Even roller skating, like Boogie Records from you know, 1980, 81, 82, that played a major role that was very impactful on my, my musical skate. I mean, what's your yeah. take on the current state of the dance music industry then? I mean, particularly the soulful vocal house scene. I mean, it, it, it seems that the young people don't enjoy a beautiful song anymore. Why, I don't know. But some amazing singer-songwriters are out there, but they find it so hard to get booked to perform. It, it's incredible, don't 
don't you think? Yeah, well, the problem there is just a, it's a generational thing. I guess you can say a lot of the younger DJs and producers were probably most likely born in the late 80s, early 90s. By the time they're of age to start really getting into music and producing and stuff, we're already in the new technology age, you know, of computers and the digital world. So they didn't really have the club reference of going out and understanding what the power of a song can do to a dance floor. But I do believe that things can turn around because music always goes in phases. And right now, there's been a research, resurgence of the 90s house sound. You know, techno is really big now, good techno. You know, I think at some point, they'll get it. They'll understand. You know, you, we're starting to see quite a few really big vocal records being fused with that style of house, like more tracky stuff, more dubby stuff. Eventually, it's going to get back to musicianship, people taking the time to write good music with arrangements and what they have. Okay, well, listen, I was lucky enough to bump into you backstage at Southport recently uh, when you introduced Tony Humphreys to the stage. Said some very kind words about him. I mean, he really is the DJ's DJ, isn't he? I mean, what are your thoughts on him? And, and what about Southport? Just how good is that gig? Well, first off, Tony Humphreys is a hero. He is definitely the DJ that influenced many legendary DJs that we have today. Um, but yeah, Southport, probably the only festival I can think of in the world where notable artists from all walks of the soulful spectrum can come and play and be appreciated. And it's pretty a pretty wide array from the most underground names you can think of to the most established artists you can think of, you know, with Soul to Soul and Sounds of Blackness having performed and Kindred. And, and it's great to be able to attend something like that and have like four or five different rooms going at the same time and in every single room that's somebody you want to see. So what's coming up for you musically then? Um, I have a compilation coming out on the BBE called Sound Beyond the Stars, which is a cop of my house mixes, essential house mixes of the last decade plus. So anything on there from Shauna Scarfield's mixes to Alison Crockett to recent stuff by Basamba and Charisma that I've done, the Tone Control guys, just covering a lot of my essential stuff that I've done over all the time that I regard, put in high regard. Some stuff was hard to get, some stuff is easier to get. But I think it's a, it's time that something like this comes out. And aside from that, um, I'm working on a full-length album. That was where we lost the line, I'm afraid. DJ Spinner, thank you very much indeed for being our guest on Soul. Yep, we well, lost the line there, I'm afraid. Couldn't get him back, but I think you got the message. One cool cat there. OK, we continue in the mix. This is the French hitman Yas uh, featuring Inaya Day. Solid, solid singer-songwriter. It's, uh, it's a classic re-edit of uh, Bring It Up from a few years ago. Uh, next up, we've got uh, From The Vault, Intense, Let The Rain Come Down. I'm sure you remember that one. Then uh, I'll be taking over the decks, Craig Stewart, on my own for some deep underground house music. Johnny does not like deep underground house music. He'd rather stick pins in his eyes.
special day and things are going my way i'm feeling good and feeling fine the clouds are here so the rain is fine let the rain come down let the rain come down and now let the rain come down let the
Okay, so here are the After Dark Mix sessions for December 2014. Craig Stewart taking over the controls here uh, from Wiggly Worm Records. One hour of deep underground house music. You'll hear a couple of my own tracks out now on Wiggly Worm and Smooth Agent Recordings out of Chicago. We kick off the show with the big tune this month. It's huge from the French maestro Laurent Prot, uh, a.k.a. A in Etanam Vale. Tracks called uh, Valium Water, and it's one of the marathon techno tracks he does. This one sticks uh, 16 minutes long, and it comes out on Germany's Snuff Tracks. This is probably the best track I've heard all year. Terrific dance music. One from the vault is from 1986. It's House Master Boy's House Nation. For the full track listing of the show, go to the radio station's website you're listening to right now, or you can hit me up on Facebook, SoundCloud, or Twitter. Here we go. Oh, nearly forgot. I'll also be talking to the, uh, the the house music maestro that is Kink, the Bulgarian maestro Kink. Okay, yeah, uh, often works with Neville Watson. Uh, we'll be talking to him on the telephone a little bit later in the show. Thank you. 
Bulgaria and you're locked to the After Dark Mix Sessions. How's about that then? I've never heard anything quite like it in all my life. I've been listening to the music, uh, this kind of music for well over 25 years never heard anything like that the only thing i could like it to is obviously the uh, john digweed and sasha days when they used to rip up all that uh, progressive stuff that's about the nearest i can think terrific uh we're actually getting this fella on the show next month we're going to be talking to him uh, laron prot we're speaking to him on the telephone just find out uh, what goes on in this guy's head terrific okay next up tone pushers
Terrific this uh, from the Tone Pushers. They're a Canadian duo. This is on their own imprint, Pure Space Recordings. Tracks called LFO Wave Shaper. Yeah, very minimal this. I've just uh, hooked up uh, with a new business partner over in the Republic of Ireland. Her name is Claire Dempsey. And we're going to be putting some parties on over, the, over there together. Kicking off with Tony Humphreys next year. And she likes all this minimal stuff. Uh, and sending me loads of stuff to listen to. And I'm getting into it, you know. Terrific. Okay, uh, next up, three on the bounce from me. Uh, we've got Wiggly Worm, which is out now on uh, on Wiggly Worm. It's uh, the Brazilian Hugh Benz on Remix Duties. Then on top of that, another one of mine, Oh The Days. It's my original mix on the brilliant Smooth Agent tracks out of Chicago. And uh, the second track there of that EP, uh, Symbiotic, also on Smooth Agent. Uh, that's called... Uh, Symbiotic, uh, the original mix. Okay, we're in the mix here. For the full track listings, uh, go to the radio sh- uh, station that you're listening to right now, or hit me up on uh, Facebook, SoundCloud, Twitter, etc. Here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, live in the mix here. Incidentally, talking about my new uh, business partner in Republic of Ireland, Waterford, uh, Claire Dempsey. Uh, she's uh, set up her own uh, record label there. So we're looking at uh, we're looking at taking some demos, listening to some demos. You never know, we might put something out. If you've got something you can send us, preferably a SoundCloud link would be ideal. Send it direct to Claire. It's Claire at House Rec Media. Housewreckmedia.com. Uh, house Rec as in shipwreck. So it's Claire at Housewreckmedia.com. Copy me in and copy me in as well if you can. Info at DJCraigStewart.com and we'll take a listen. This is Cruz in Nuremberg from Hamburg, Germany, and you're in the mix with Craig Stewart. Thank you. 
Okay, two on the bounce here from the brilliant London duo Full Intention. First one, Meteor Man, and the second one, Upside Down, off the equally amazing Offspin Records. And in between these two tracks, I'll be calling King Cup. And now we'll uh, be talking to the maestro. on the telephone I have one of the very best live acts in the world today specializing in deep underground techno dance music he's released music on some of the coolest labels in the world he travels the world playing his craft and he's about one of the most in-demand remixes around his sound when working with partner in crime Neville Watson is totally stunning and his solo sound is equally brilliant he continues to tour his smash hit album under construction and he does a little bit on the decks as well uh, Strahel Velchev, uh, better known to everybody as Kink. Welcome to the After Dark Mix Sessions. Thank you very much, Craig. My pleasure to, to be on the show. First of all, congratulations to your top three placing in Resident Advisors Live Acts. That's 2014. That, that yes, all, that's right. Yes, all... I'm, I'm really proud, to be honest, because my music is not, uh, what I do is not the sound of now and somehow I managed to, to stay on top. I guess it's, it's a result of just a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of loyal friends and, and, and people who support my music. I mean, with the live act then, I mean, there isn't a sort of standard, there isn't a, a, a standard way to do things. I mean, everybody's different. So, I mean, what's your setup? I, I've seen the videos, um, particularly the Resident Advisor yeah. film, it's brilliant. I mean, what is it you're trying to achieve that, that's different from others? And taking kit into your audiences for, for them to work with you is 
very cool. I've, n- I've never heard of that before. Thank you. Well, what I try to achieve is to uh, to put together musician techniques and DJ techniques. I think nowadays a lot of a lot of DJs they want to be to become musicians. Actually, I like the other idea too. I'm a producer and I, I have some experience as a DJ as well, but. I really like the idea to to play live with with more DJ kind of approach to uh, to play around with loops and to uh, to be able to transform the sound in in any moment as as any good DJ can do. I mean, at the moment my live set is pretty much based on a, on a laptop, and then I have a lot of uh, plastic boxes which which they are called MIDI controllers. And what I do through the show is sometimes, as you said, I, I bring a little device inside the crowd. And I, I invite people, to, I encourage people to play around with this device. So there is a certain amount of pre-programming. It, ca- it cannot go completely wrong, but still uh, you don't know what kind of melody is going to come up. <laughs> Sometimes the gadget I bring to the people, it's, it's, a, it's a plastic. There are a lot of buttons and there is only one button in the, in the upper left corner which you shouldn't touch. But <laughs> funny, very often people go all, always for that one, which is like, you have like 64 buttons and they go only for this one, which is the most distant <laughs> on the left side. But it's it's part of the improvisation. Sometimes, you know, you've been many times in the club and, and sometimes the music just stops. And that's actually the best moment. <laughs> <laughs> you work with Neville Watson and, and that sort of yes. acid sound um, yeah. is when I and many others uh, became a fan of yours. I mean, h- how did you guys meet, and and will you will you keep st- will you keep working together? It, you've not done much together lately, have you? But will will you continue? Yeah. My meeting with him means a lot to me because our first uh, record together was uh, was the reason for my breakthrough. Uh, but more important, through our work together, we became very very close friends. Uh, and now we are. I, I feel him like a part of my family, and it's it's very true. We don't work that much on music right now. Uh, he got married and he have a beautiful baby right now and uh, also my solo career exploded so we had to focus on our own lives but this year we have we have big plans I would love I would love to have Neville at home in Sofia because my studio expanded in a great way and also his life now is more balanced his, his kid is about one year old now so Yes. We, can, we can start uh, working on uh, new projects. Now you were in Manchester recently because that's where I live. That's where I'm from. So you were performing. At but the it warehouse. was not. Yeah, it was my solo gig. I was. That's I was right. on my own. Yes, yes, you're on your own at the warehouse project. Um, yes, that's right. I yes, mean, that, that's a very big brand in the world, particularly in the UK it over is. here. And um, tell and tell us about what that was like. And what about your album tour under construction? Uh, First of all, Manchester. I have to say it's it's a lovely city. Every time I play over there, it could be some key so it could be the warehouse project every time is, is just amazing and it's just getting better and better uh, but speaking about my album I wanted to say I have quite of a bright uh, music taste and uh, I, I love I, I like functional dance music but then I have a desire to make something more special so I think the album format gives you the chance to make something more personal and more so uh, my project under construction is something made for, for, for pleasure for myself it's recorded pretty much uh, live with a lot of uh, obscure analog boxes and that's how it sounds so strange when people ask me to describe how it sounds I normally say it's it's like a collaboration between Affix Twin and Jeff Mills. So, all right. So I mean, um, just finishing up then. So what about productions yeah. and remixes? I mean, what have you got coming up? I mean, Christmas is coming. Where, yes. Where are you DJing? Pr- productions, remixes? Yes, I have to say I've been a bit slow with production uh, in 2000, 2014 uh, because my album took a lot of energy. But but now I am back. First record I'm gonna put out is on uh, Pets Recordings. It's it comes out on uh, January, mm-hmm. so it's a single, it's one track. It sounds a little bit like Acid, of course, but then a little bit like Disco. There is a really really cool remix from uh, Truncate, that's a really cool techno producer. Mm-hmm. And you can use this record as, a, as an instrument for your live show or, for your, and, or to spice up your, your DJ sets. Okay. Then the next record I'm putting out, I just signed it on uh, Running Back, Gerd Janssen's label. And what about New Year's Eve? Are you performing anywhere there? Oh yes, of course. I go to. Uh, I'm in a New Year's evening. I'm in Australia, New Zealand, and I'm gonna go to to see my friends in uh, in Singapore. Everything is kind of in the same area, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, kind so of. I'm gonna use yeah. the chance to to escape the winter and uh, 
play and travel. Well, travel safely. Um, listen, it's been, it's been brilliant having you on the show. Uh, but for now, Kink, thank you. Thank you for your time.
Okay, uh, thanks for locking in. Um, this show is now broadcasted on 126 radio stations around the world. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much. And thank you very much if you joined us in Manchester to check out one of the biggest DJs in the world, Tony Humphreys. I'll be doing it all again sometime next year with Claire Dempsey from House Rec Media in the Republic of Ireland, Waterford. Bye for now. Nation. <laughs> 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 